it's like a volunteer role so i sort of um volunteer to help out the official jingle jam team and i sort of look after the discord uh, side of it what they do is they sort of reach out to developers and publishers blah 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 and ask if they are willing to donate the game keys and i think this year there was like i want to say 70 ish games maybe a bit more so in uh, 2014 mm -hmm. that's when it officially became jingle jam the name jingle jam how much truth would a sleuth roof <laughs> deduce if a sleuth roof could deduce <laughs> might be like February or March is when they open for applications for other charities. All right, lads, welcome back to Midweek MC, the part of the podcast where I sit down with the amazing co-host, Captain AJX. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Oh, my God. This is the Christmas edition, isn't it? It is. It I is the Christmas edition. I completely forgot. My bad. <laughs> I knew I was going to debate you. So <laughs> Mer Merry Christmas or happy holidays, everyone who, who celebrates it. It was two days ago from when this podcast is coming out, and this is our Christmas edition to Merry make it Christmas and happy holidays days everyone and to, to make it even more Christmassy there's two things that are happening firstly discord has just broken as we were about <laughs> to record so we're using google meet and secondly <laughs> we're joined with Ruhu from jingle jam oh hello yeah. I guess from jingle jam right yeah yes hi hi my name's Ruth I am one of the community leaders for jingle jam which has already happened <laughs> <laughs> yeah see this is, but this is the aftermath because i mean this is what yes. i said to you as well when i invited you on mainly because i was booked out or we mm -hmm. were booked out actually not me but also because i i don't know it'd be fun to, it's fun to talk about the aftermath and then hopefully next year maybe if you enjoy this podcast we can bring you back on and talk about it during or just before jingle yeah yeah that's good no I, i'm excited to dig in yeah, and the, the, the google <laughs> meets edition it feels so strange i'm so used to this god uh, he's broken he's a broken man i am this is absolutely crazy so i guess jumping straight into it then because normally i ask like the, the, the guests to introduce themselves but you did a mm -hmm. very good job of just doing it yeah so that's always a w um, <laughs> what is a you said you was a wait, did a community manager or community leader community leader yeah so, so is, i suppose my sort of main task i suppose so it's it's like a volunteer role so i sort of um volunteer to help out the official jingle jam team and i sort of look after the discord uh, side of it and sort of manage that community which is mostly obviously there is like viewers and stuff like that but it's mostly sort of other streamers as well that are fundraising themselves so that's sort of my main main role and then also a little bit of sort of liaising i suppose with the actual charities that are involved so there's like 12 charities each year so there's quite a lot of variety there's some people who's never ever used discord before which is quite interesting um <laughs> so trying to help them out as well and make sure they know and can kind of connect to the people who are fundraising for them is sort of my my main role i guess so this is a voluntary but voluntary position yes so, yes so yes i'm not an employee <laughs> It's just it's just interesting because obviously I know it's for charity and charity. Yes. Thing. So I, as far as I'm aware, this is only a, a British charity, Br British Heart Foundation, for example, like the doors that you can go into. As mm -hmm. far as I'm aware, everyone who works in those are voluntary as well. So I think so. Yeah. I don't. I, I've never thought about that actually. I don't know. I think I applied for a job once uh, there because uh, when I was younger, because I just wanted yeah. experience. It was, a, it was mm. a voluntary position for like no matter the age. Oh, uh, I guess that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I suppose they're probably not doing you know mega long shifts or anything. Yeah, I've never thought about that. But yeah, it's that sort of giving yeah for the sake of it i guess giving their time aren't they we're not really for the sake of it per se we're not, no like, for the sake yeah, of helping I know, charity yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know i know we all love charity so what is yeah. what is the reason you got into working with jingle jam specifically then but like is is there anything you did beforehand because you joined in it's either 2020 or 2021 so last year so 2022 what? actually oh, oh. <laughs> no see i knew that i was just making sure you remembered uh, no that's fine yeah. so um <laughs> i suppose if we dial it back i don't know how interested this is but my my story of sort of how I got here is if you know the Yogs cast who are um, the sort of people who started out doing Jingle Jam they have a uh, content creator he's also like part of the office as well but called Dav who I was a moderator for on Twitch uh, which then sort of you know he was like very new doing it so I sort of helped from the beginning and he had like a discord server that I was obviously then a mod for as well so I think I don't know who had the idea to do a Jingle Jam server but they basically like approached me and said like we would love if you could join us obviously have a think about it blah 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 and um i said yes <laughs> and that's basically how it was because i guess for me like the jingle jam as an event had been something that i'd been watching i think since like 2014 sort of time so it's something that i was like wow i could actually be a part of this that would be amazing like i love doing stuff like this i love yeah getting involved in things like this so i was like yeah absolutely and that's kind of how it happened really <laughs> have you done any like prior prior like charity work or any prior i guess so, i guess 
Uh, do you have any experience in the role you're working right now? It sounds like an I, interview. It's not an interview. I know. <laughs> and also, if I haven't done charity work, it makes me sound like a bad person. But well, no, I have. Really, I have. Because <laughs> when I say charity work, I more mean like work in yeah. like with a charity, I guess, in a sense. Not like for this level. Um, I've done like, you know, things you do at school and things like that, like raising money for various charities and stuff. But yeah. uh, no, it's quite like, it was quite a new thing for me. Like I was kind of there. There was other people involved, obviously. It wasn't just me, I should say. There isn't just me be it that's a community leader there is other people so I was sort of like coming from a, a bit of a less experienced view but someone who was like super willing to get involved and like I'm happy to you know do as much or as little as people want me to so I just kind of I, my sort of um <laughs> I suppose what I bring to the table is I work from home so I'm quite available uh <laughs> is how I like to put it uh, so I'm always kind of around if people need anything so I was just like yeah I'll, I'll learn from these guys and there were some people who um had previous experience doing like community management stuff so I just learned a lot from them basically but no I haven't done it before apart from managing you know Dav's discord server but that was obviously a much smaller scale I think there's like 6,000 people in the discord server which is very different <laughs> to like the 200 in in the other discord server that was a bit <laughs> intense but uh no yeah completely kind of new to me really so I've I've uh I've done my charity work yeah so back on, so I used to be a bedrock edition so I know you don't know much about Minecraft I, I know like what that is I think oh, okay it's just another <laughs> version of Minecraft we played Java edition which is what MCC okay. Island Jingle Jam was on yes. there was also a Jingle Jam MCC event back in the past which yes. I was going to talk mm. about but I, once again I'm not really too sure you know how much you know about it I, I watched a little bit of the thing they did this year I'm like just I'm like watching it like what on earth is going on this is crazy <laughs> but like I love it it looks great I just have no idea what's going on so MCC is just like so they did it on MCC Island which is like a public so Server, right. In private games, MCC is the actual tournament that the server is based off on. Yeah. And yeah. AJX, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe like two years ago they did an yes. MCC Jingle Jam blab, and the your cast actually won that. Did they? Uh, it was it was uh, Simon and Lewis won the event. Oh wow, uh, I didn't know that. All the so all the Yorks cast were like split into ten teams. Right. And yeah, Simon Simon and Lewis's team ended up winning in the end. I can't remember who who was on their team right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're like obviously. <laughs> It did, yeah, it did feel fixed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's all for charity, but no, that that's funny. I guess if people don't know who Lewis and Simon are, they're the sort of founders of the Yogscast. I hope I think most people do know that, but yeah, so they're sort of the Ooh. they they know their Minecraft, don't they? Yeah, exactly. even even more fixed in the Littlewood and Solidarity Gaming with the other two players. Uh, on yeah, in, I swear in the Littlewood. Oh no, in the Littlewood isn't part of your cast. He just works. He is. No, he is. Well, he is yeah, part of your cast. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, but he's also um, just an MCC player in general. Though. He's insanely good at Minecraft and all of that stuff so i'm not surprised <laughs> that he won to be honest <laughs> uh but yes. yeah so that uh that charity that that tournament so back on bedrock edition i actually i hosted two of my own oh, tournaments wow. it's pretty cool the first one i raised 500 dollars all in all plus like the, the money i gained during the stream so yep. it got to like five six with a 100 dollar donation myself nice. and the second tournament was a little bit sad because it was really good and it did really really well but i raised 100 dollars, which was literally just me donating <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, you know, yeah <laughs> but you know what i always say people like just doing it i mean who was that for what charity was that so for? the first one was for team c's because that's what was uh that was, was yeah and the second one was for um oh uh, what was it for because i said oh, make, <laughs> make a wish make a wish uk because uh, okay I, I i'm still subscribed so they send me like letters and stuff which yeah just... no i th i was gonna say like i always say to people if it's a hundred pounds that's still a hundred pounds more than you would have you know than they would have got without you and also a lot of it for me is like raising awareness so some people might not know that make wishes even a thing so the fact that you've even done that even if there was no one donated like I think it's still super cool and yeah not to be disheartened by that because it does happen but... I mean you know the stream <laughs> yeah. still I mean the stream average like wasn't the reason I did it but no, no. maybe like 170 viewers yeah. so you know people I just saw 170 more people being known of what make a wish yeah. is whether it's yeah, donated through me or they donated at a later date kind of thing yeah no, that's cool but yeah I was uh, interested how your like role has evolved from 2021 to 2023 it's obviously only been two years but yeah like what, what has changed in those two years because I think it's just got like bigger and bigger every single year. <laughs> to um, me at least. Yeah, sorry, it was from last year, not 2021. Yeah, it was my 2022. Bad, no, that's okay. <laughs> I don't want to claim that I've done more work than I have. Uh, no, <laughs> it's just um... testing you, Make sure you know what you're talking about. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess, like, for me, the thing I've noticed the most between, like, so obviously last year, as I said, we were sort of like setting up the server, like getting our, like, getting to grips with everything. Um, I've noticed it's been a lot more like fundraiser focused this year, which was something that we sort of intentionally did, I think, um, because we're still sort of, you know, trying to figure out what 
what the server's purpose is in a way because it's sort of like of course people want to go there that love jungle jam but also you know there's a lot of other servers that people are in that are like by creators and stuff like that so are we really sort of a place where people want to come and chat or actually are we better being more focused on people who are obviously taking part in jungle jam mm. and supporting the streamers so definitely this year we sort of wanted to focus a little bit more on that and kind of push that more and i think we had like i might get the numbers wrong here i think it last year we had 350 people sign up as uh fundraisers and then i think this year it was like 650 so that's obviously 300 extra extra people um and yeah it definitely felt a lot busier kind of in that regard so it's definitely felt more kind of that focus i guess this year versus like just kind of inviting people in the server and chatting to them as it was kind of last year i guess but yeah Hopefully that's answered it. <laughs> Definitely more busy. <laughs> Lots more questions, which is great, but also like, yeah, um, a lot more there's more people to kind of chat to each other as well, which has been really good. You know, people like supporting each other as well, which has been really, really nice. Mm. So there's been a lot more of that this year. And those people like I recognized from last year coming back, which we've been nice and helping other people. So it's definitely felt like it's become more of a community this year. Yeah, like recognizing people's names and stuff like that is, is super nice. That's that's really nice because I was gonna I was literally about to ask oh. if, uh, <laughs> people from last year year like start taking on more of a helping role and so on in yeah up i think so, so yeah like it's hard because tiltify sort of changed a little bit of how so they did a thing this year which was amazing it was like a pre-registration thing so tiltify by the way is like the place that they fundraise for so it's like the website um you could pre-register which was great because it meant you know we could see how many people had signed up and what people mm. were gonna like fundraise for but what it did mean is that like so the games collection which we'll come to i'm sure later uh, you had to sort of turn that on manually which normally when you set up it's kind of already there so we just had to really make sure that like all that was there this year which last year wasn't a thing so it was a little bit more complicated to set up but then um yeah the actual sort of process is the exact same you know with all the overlays and it, uh, what they're called incentives and stuff like that um so yeah, yeah there was definitely people helping each other out which was really nice to see and obviously saves me replying to people as well <laughs> <laughs> you, you mentioned how you had like a few people ask questions and, yes uh, stuff like that. what are some of your most memorable questions off the top of your head <laughs> You don't have to say who asked them. I don't expect you to remember that part. But what are some yeah. of the questions that are stuck in your head? Be it serious, be it good logical questions, be it funny, silly questions. What are some of them? A lot of people... <laughs> So one of the like funny ones is people asking afterwards if they can like buy the collection. We're like, on, oh, it's over. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> it's past. Uh, but no, I think during it, it's definitely like when the schedule's out and stuff like that. You know, the, the Yoscast schedule is something that gets asked a lot and isn't actually something that is in that Discord. So it's a bit random. But um, I'm trying to think if there's like a really silly one. There definitely is. We definitely have to repeat it, like a few things like that, I guess. But um, yeah, it tends to just be that stuff about the collection, like donating is like is the biggest thing. But there's not been anything too bad this year i don't think so yeah sorry <laughs> no no you're good i didn't i didn't expect you to remember or even say anything i'm just curious if there was because like sometimes people ask questions about the podcast and it's like i get one of one of the ones that i get asked a lot is when does it come out I, I, yes well that is yeah obviously sorry that is actually something people are like when is it and i'm like it says it everywhere on this discord server when it is it's like I, well, I on every FAQ. single page <laughs> like people in the discord sometimes will go like when is this podcast and i'm like i have a, i have an faq yeah though. it's it's hard i always try and like reference the faq and just say read the faq but yeah people don't click on it do they all the time but no i think that's probably the big the first the question people ask the most is when is it which yeah seems like the, the most obvious one to me but i guess as i said it has in previous years run longer so maybe that's why but it always starts on the first of december every single year and so, it yeah. ends after two on the 14th so, yeah and it used to be a month right you said you mentioned i think you mentioned yeah this before the podcast and I, I think um it starts at 5 p.m gmt so that also throws people because um Britain. they do like i think the yogs cast do like a morning stream and that's so people are like oh it starts at 11 it's like no 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 <laughs> you can't donate yet you have to wait so it's that's kind of the the wrestling match i guess with that but um yeah it normally starts at 5 p.m and ends at like midnight on the 14th we have a few stats thrown down here and okay I, i'm not i'm not saying that you will 100 know it correct or not and i'm not going to confirm these ones okay <laughs> this is just from what we gathered yes. based on i probably research. yeah i probably will know but yeah shoot. so well, i mean it starts with 2011 <laughs> okay yes uh, that is when it started yeah so it started 2011 uh, it was with Oxfam's Give a Goat program mm -hmm. and there was a 
apparently because Lewis and Simon were given, like, getting gifts given to them quite a lot. So they wanted yes. to divert the gifts, raise, raising money for charity. Yeah. So in so. 2011, they raised over 66,000 British pounds. Mm-hmm. In 2012, then, they switched to the Honeydew's Honey Drive, <laughs> keeping in Ethiopia. <laughs> I said that right? You're laughing. I feel no, like no, 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 no. That's perfect. <laughs> it, it's perfect. a good name. It's a good name. <laughs> Oh, okay. It was the name. <laughs> and uh, they raised 240 grand. Yep. In 2013, they switched to the Dwarven Dairy Drive. And this was the first time we saw the Yorkcast Charity Games Bundle in Goose. Ah. And that's I didn't know that. Year. I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> and that same year, they raised 1.1 million. What year was that? This was 2013. Oh, okay. I, I mean, it doesn't say Ooh. that on the tracker website, but I don't know. Oh. That You probably are right. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, this is, like I said, I don't, I don't, I do some of the research. <laughs> this is not part of the research that I did. No, so I can't okay. confirm if this is great. But my the person who does the research, Roman, is is a big fan of Jingle Jam and she's okay, only very reliable. Right yeah, so. I believe I believe them. But really? no, I was gonna say, like, anyway, even the number I can see in front of me is seven hundred and eight thousand. But either way, I think Still what lot. an amazing difference. Oh, like, but is that in pounds? Is that seven hundred and eight thousand pounds? Yes, yes. Okay, wait, let's let's see something. Oh, are that. you reading it in dollars? I'm reading it in dollars. That's why. Oh, that's why. Right. So let's just let's let's check. Hold up, I'm using Sorry, I'm, I'm using Google here. If no, you, no, I should have should have specified it was dollars. Yeah, I think they did used to like list things in dollars which is more confusing uh well, no, so. the first the first so 2011 2012 was in pounds i have like yeah when you were reading them i was like that's right then in 2013 no. i have it in dollars for some bizarre reasons <laughs> i guess i mean maybe yeah. the charity i think it sounds more impressive as well because it's over a million right yes yeah, so i'm very I, so I, so the research i believe is right it's just in, in different numbers <laughs> that's fine but no i mean the difference between 708 and obviously 240,000, i think is like living proof that the the games collection is a massive like driver for for donations isn't it now is the perfect Definitely. time to talk about that so yeah what is what is the <laughs> what is the charity i like so I, I i should probably specify it for this podcast and i mentioned to you before the podcast sometimes i act like i don't know <laughs> are we at like we don't know what being like what the answer is because yes. obviously... you did just say what is the charity i just didn't finish talking uh, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes we tend to obviously not know what like what the answer is for the sake of the podcast because i can list yeah. off a bunch of facts but then it's it better to hear it from you especially because i can only give a brief explanation whereas obviously this is what you do so you know better yes. than i do or we do even what is the your cast charity games bundle don't say bundle right so don't say bundle. <laughs> there's like a running joke because um i think they used to in a few few years back which is probably the one that you said they had um they did it through humble bundle which you've probably heard of yes. but um they do it now like they don't do that so oh, yeah, in it's 2020 now... they switched from bundle to tiltify to tiltify yes yeah. so tiltify is like the one that i know about so okay. i can answer any question about tiltify for okay, sure we'll do that one then that works <laughs> <laughs> no uh it's the same thing it's just a different way of doing it so um basically the what they do is they sort of reach out to developers and publishers blah 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 and ask if they are willing to donate the game keys and i think this year there was like i want to say 70 ish games maybe a bit more and the idea is i think uh, it's been around the same price each year but i think for a 35 pound donation it's a reward that you get so it's optional obviously you don't have to have it but most people do 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 it obviously who doesn't want some some games mm. and there's like a massive variety of game so obviously it's sort of not the point it's kind of the point is to donate to charity but it's one of those things like it's nice to get something back and they do sort of find i think that average donation um price is like 41 pounds which shows that <laughs> that is kind of the reason like i don't know about you guys but normally if someone's like donate to a charity sometimes it can be like a tenner can't it or 20 quid like you don't tend to go or well, maybe i'm tight i don't know <laughs> but i tend to like go for about 20 quid whereas like this is just pushes it up to 35 pounds which i think is a really good uh, incentive and then there's like tons of games and it's all on steam as well and i think this year they even had like some mcc stuff on there as well which is really cool was um, MCC. I don't yes it. i didn't buy it personally but uh, i have the key still if you want it <laughs> i haven't redeemed mine no, i think you get like it. items i don't know <laughs> i don't even know how to do it <laughs> i don't know how to redeem that i need to figure it out but um no, the, the idea is that obviously people then get the games collection and what they do often is the cast do like streams with the games in to sort of thank the developers or they'll do 
like, you know, if they've given them a key for like the first game, they'll maybe play the second game on stream. So they sort of get a little bit of something back. But it's obviously just super generous um, developers and stuff that are doing it. So pretty cool. And yeah, there were some really good games in it this year. I don't know if you've had a chance to have a look. One of my uh, friends. I did, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Something I'm not really cool. <laughs> one, of my friends, one of my friends does that. They get the game bundle and yeah. obviously raise money for it. And then okay. they, they, uh, they stream it. And yes. they, uh, I got invited to be in one of their streams. And it was Aww. great. So. So, yeah, um... that, that is something that I haven't mentioned, actually. So I guess the main thing that's really cool about people who get, like choose to fundraise is they can offer the games collection too. So that means yeah. that I think anyone, you know, that would normally just be doing a, a normal donation stream, it, it can sometimes go quite hard to get donations, as we were talking about earlier. So just to have that as like a reward is is amazing. And it means that then people do have that offer to like anyone. It doesn't have to be someone who is the Yogscast fan or watching them. So it's, it's really nice that they offer that to them as well. I was going to say, <laughs> it doesn't it it doesn't just have to be games either like um i know uh some uh, a project both me and orbit's in mm -hmm. uh, raised money through oh, that's what i was going to talk about uh, <laughs> okay uh, yeah, there you go. yeah yeah go ahead, cover, the floor. cover singles of different songs oh no yeah um, so uh <laughs> we, we both uh done uh a song each haven't we orbit nice um, mine hasn't been released yet i don't know if it will be out by the time this podcast comes out but i'm sure rice won't mind can't wait to listen well oh, so <laughs> yeah, it's one <laughs> Absolutely cooks mm. my one. Uh. Really? Oh no, I'm sure it's good. So, how do you? How does that work then? What? How are you raising money for charity there, or what? What are you doing? We're, we're, we're raising money for Jingle Jam. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and it's, it's you still get the uh, still can get the games uh, yeah. if you donate and so on. But yeah, all the all the raising from that is to Jingle cool. Jam and so on. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it's, it's it's 12 12 covers, 12 days of Christmas wow. covers. I'm in the bonus track. Oh, I see. Uh, you are. What kind of songs are they? They like I don't know Christmas songs. Oh, Christmas, Christmas songs. Okay. Right. Nice. So, uh, what did I say? Orbits, what are you doing? I'm yeah. <laughs> I you can't remember. I did uh, me I and my sung... friends did Christmas Drillings by the Sidemen. Um, I have not heard that because I'm yeah. 20 years old, but I, it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that because I'm I 28 know. years old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I vaguely know what the Sidemen are. I don't really know, to be honest. Um, yeah, hold on, I'm just going to a bunch of alcohol pictures. Hold on. Uh, Holly Johnny <laughs> Christmas by Michael Bublé. Oh, okay. That's oh. very wholesome. Okay. Yes. The, the, the you sound like Michael Bublé wholesome. when you sing. Huh? He's, got mm. quite, he's got quite a tough <laughs> voice to match. No, yeah. Yeah, no, I, said, I have a really charming voice as well, and I said oh. I actually sounded exactly like it. Nice. I thought we'd hear. <laughs> oh, that's sweet though. But yeah, that is an excellent point. You don't have to um to stream to to fundraise. You can just well, I think RT Game just did a post on YouTube and raised like a lot of money <laughs> just because it's oh, RT wow. Game. So um yeah. yeah, you don't have to do that at all. I think some people like did YouTube videos and just like mentioned it in that. But, yeah, it was really cool. Some people did like songwriting streams, which was quite cool. Which I know is still streaming, but I think it's it's nice sometimes to not do games, isn't it? As much as we all love games. It's nice to have yeah. a bit of variety on Twitch. The one I was going to mention about, I actually didn't know you were talking about the Rice one. Uh, so this isn't for Jingle Jam. Right. But on Friday, so for the viewer, it would have been last Friday. Mm -hmm. We were, me and uh, me and AJX, as well as like three other members of the, well, two members of the podcast team plus Debbie, we're playing in it. We're playing a charity tournament. Uh, right. And, uh, this is Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, right. when, okay. When you mentioned about not, not being it. like not having to post any, or you can just make a post, for instance, like uh, so. Um, both myself and AJX have donated, and mm -hmm. uh, I like I just like made a tweet about it as well on like the podcast yeah. account saying that RTB and like got a donate yeah. donation just from a Twitter post as well, and it's like you're it's completely cool. right, and it's like, you don't have to. No, no. And some people, I mean, it's great. Some people do like 14 streams, like they stream every day, which I don't know how people do that. But some people just do one stream, and then they're saying like they feel bad. I'm like, no, that's one stream. Like that's still like. <laughs> hours of your time is being given towards that you don't have to like stretch yourself super thin i think um so yeah even a tweet is is something isn't it i think um was it Boba? I think, you know, Boba, part of the Yost cast, she was quite sick for a lot of Jingle Jam, unfortunately. She just did a tweet and she raised £19,000 for Autistic. Crazy, so, isn't it, really? it? It's like just reaching people who, you know, love like supporting the creators as well is like quite a big thing. And obviously a lot of them know Jingle Jam anyway, but it's just really cool. So one thing that I don't know if this is like clear from Jingle Jam is you can actually choose one charity. You don't have to donate to all of the charities, which I think is quite nice because a lot of people want to donate or know that they're money is going directly to like a really you know sometimes people have a charity that's a bit closer to their heart or whatever mm -hmm. so um you can choose to do that so that's what boba did there she chose autistica and then all of those donations go to that rather than being split though so that's why if you sort of 
of look at the tracker is like quite a big difference between some of them because some people like fundraise for it goes like wdc which is the whales and dolphin yeah, conservation has got loads more that's the one that rt game was ah. <laughs> uh, supporting you see I mean, so you can see what a difference against living measurably got, got one, yes got a second yeah, as well. and both of amazing. them are really far ahead of like the third one yeah i know i think um palm are like so i sort of speak to so the person who i've like spoke to the most uh, charity wise is michael from calm and he's just like on it he just like he just knows what he's doing he's so on it like contacting like creators and talking to the right people and um i think that's probably why they did so well this year is just yeah, getting some really good content creators on board and reaching out to people which was cool i think it was like is it uh oh no that was movember movember had like terrorizer who i don't know who that is but it sounds like a big deal you know who that is I'm aware do you not <laughs> i'm sure if you googled who it is it's, he's probably i did movember did you yeah, what well, did so... you actually grow a mustache well uh, so i mean i am i'm i'm wor I, I was working on it but like it got it got to the stage where like at the end of the month it like kept tickling my mouth right. and it was getting on my nerves i was at work you have and to it was persist just... huh you have to like push um, through my, that like I as think. soon as i think I think, I think like 11 p.m. on like the final. Fair enough. Just, fair just, enough. I was like, I've had enough. I've done it. Okay, I've done it. I've done it. I can't, this, this is done. <laughs> I, I do like a mustache. I think they're quite fun. Like I, I like that they're sort of, they're sort of coming back, aren't they? Well, I mean, kind I just grew a beard. Actually, I tell, I tell a lie. I was growing a beard, not a mustache. Right. Really. But the mustache was tickling in my mouth. <laughs> you meant to trim it, I think. That's what I'm told, anyway. Oh, I just uh, didn't yeah. touch it for the entire month. I, just, <laughs> I also didn't cut my hair. I still haven't cut. I need a haircut. Wait, this reminds me. I need to get. I'm gonna go. Get a <laughs> I've got holiday the, now until next year. I'm gonna go get a haircut. I was gonna tomorrow. say. I don't think you're gonna get a haircut between now and Christmas. I know this is coming out after Christmas, but it's probably yeah, all booked up. Oh well, no, it is no. so salon, I, go, I just go to my local barber. He doesn't. It doesn't really. Do Honestly, it. at like salons, you just can't like <laughs> Christmas is completely booked up months in advance. It's silly. I don't know why everyone wants to get their hair done for Christmas, but apparently that's the thing. So I, I have. It's no when chance. you get all the pictures taken, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Yeah. Makes sense. Anyway, speaking of uh, haircuts, <laughs> uh, what yeah. was your favorite game from the bundle? <laughs> so I, I've only played like a couple so far, but ones that I've like seen that I thought. I mean, I don't know if you know the game Tabs. Which I, I feel like I know console. if I've seen it. If that makes sense, you will definitely know it. It's totally accurate battle simulator. Oh yeah, um, okay. Now I know. Now I know. Oh, it. now I've said it. Okay. Now you've uh, said yeah, like I only know that from like seeing. Um, so Angori Tom, uh, if you know them again in, from the Oscars, he plays it quite a lot on um, YouTube and stuff. And it's sort of like a thing he does on the jingle jam as well he does like a versus thing and he has a big crazy wheel and i've always thought it looked really fun but it's the sort of game that i would never have like gone out of my way to actually purchase so i was like actually buzzing when i saw that it was in the thing i was like really surprised because it's like a really well i think it's quite a big game i don't know it's obviously not like a triple a or anything but it's quite a well-known game so i think that one i've not played it yet but i'm looking forward to that i think the I don't, i'm going to say this wrong astronomo is one that is a bit of a sort of hidden one for me i started playing that the other day uh, because i saw you play instruments which i thought was really fun like little astronauts walking around like it's just a fun like two-player game well you can do it with okay. like four people but i was playing it with my uh, boyfriend and we were getting in each other's way and falling out which was fun <laughs> um and then what was the other one? Oh, tiny life i think that one i'm super excited Ooh, to play. tiny life yeah that's a good game yeah i've not played it yet but it I you know the I sims with pixels it. is like i'm there like i love stardew valley and thims and animal crossing and all stuff like that so i'm on board for sure um <laughs> But yeah, and I think the last one was one that I was interested in called Long Vinter. You've heard of that one? Definitely not, no. It looks like Animal Crossing on the picture, but I, <laughs> I did load into a server and I was walking around for like 30 minutes trying to find my uh, boyfriend on it because it like spawns you in like complete opposite ends of the map. Oh. <laughs> um, and then and then we like figured out what we were doing and I like died immediately and it like, that's it. That's the, the end. It's kind of like rust in that uh, sense, yeah. if you know what I mean? Like things decay and stuff. So I'm like interested in it, but I need to get better at it. But, um, yeah. And then a game I have actually played is A Short Hike. I've already played that, but that's a really good game. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a cute, a, it's a cute game. game and I love a cute mm. game so yeah lots lots of great ones but yeah to be honest there's loads that I've not even like looked at yet that I'm excited to have a look at um but yeah it feels like there's I think there's slightly less this year but the like slightly better kind of variety and there's some like as I say some bigger names in there so I think quality over quantity which is really good did uh did your boyfriend I uh, get the bundle as well then or he did like, and he did it through my fundraiser as well because uh... <laughs> I, I was so right I like planned uh, so I last year I did a bacon stream so I do do like my own streams every now and then. And bacon I like dream or baking? Baking. Baking. No, I uh, I like doing bacon streams because they're always like really chaotic and it always goes terribly wrong. You were but cooking, it's always a lot essentially. Of fun. <laughs> 
I am cooking, yeah. Um, but no, I, I did one last year and it was super fun. Um, and then I was like, right, I'm going to do one this year. Um, and I was going to do it for Copper Feel, which is the breast cancer charity that was involved. And I was going to like, I don't know, make some boobs or something. It was going to be fun. And I just didn't have time at all. So I was a bit gutted uh. that I just, I didn't have time to stream throughout. But um, my friend messaged me and he was like, I was going to donate when you streamed, but you're not going to, are you? I was like, no. But he did it. And then my boyfriend was like, yeah. I'll, I'll do it so i got 70 pounds <laughs> <laughs> i got 70 pounds which is better than nothing right that yes right. exactly <laughs> so yeah yeah but he has redeemed them all uh i think now as well but um yeah i've got i've got two uh, mcc codes if anyone needs them <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think i've even got minecraft and sword on this computer yet so yeah i need to figure that one out <laughs> i i got i got it and oh I did you that. yes yeah yeah oh. um, my favorite one is monster prom oh my uh, god you know what that one looks so fun like <laughs> I think I just want to sit and, and yeah, I, it's my kind of game though. I'm I'm excited about that one. It, it looked fun from what I saw. There's also another one called Super Cable Boy. Have you seen that? It's um, oh, no, I've not seen that one. Did you ever play? I know Orbit's probably not even heard of this. <laughs> well, I heard of did what? you ever play like Super Meat Boy? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah of course Super I've heard of that. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like an ancient game. Yes, like, I remember I know, playing I know, that on I my know Xbox. What Super Meat Boy is. Yes. <laughs> I remember playing that on my Xbox <laughs> age like Minecraft 18. Game. So you know, it was a while ago, but I was obsessed with that game. Like. Like obsessed i think i actually did complete it but super cable oh, boy is giving me that kind of vibe but it, it looked it did look very difficult when i saw people playing it but I'm, I'm excited about that one as well but i'm also a bit scared in case i get addicted to it <laughs> I, yeah. well i got addicted to marble world have which, you which is... <laughs> you get addicted to marble world <laughs> well I, I love i the, i love marble racing there's a thing oh uh, okay yeah in the pandemic there was a, a channel that. that went viral for marble racing yes, and i love it i've seen it uh and basically that's what you do you create tracks and then race marble have you actually so... built tracks and stuff on it yeah yeah bits and pieces oh, so <laughs> you have the patience for stuff like that but it does look super fun i like when people do it on stream and you can like join and you can like win the race yes yes <laughs> yes i see those all that's the time what's the one you did with your friend AJ? uh the one i i'm, I'm going to do monster uh, prom with my oh, oh, you? Okay. i thought you said you'd already done yes. one during jingle jam oh you're going Ooh. to oh no no i uh we, we're going to do monster prom but i uh, we played can't remember <gasps> oh, no. i'd have to go through the list <laughs> oh no <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, for another time. Yeah. I'm podcast. sorry to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, a very memorable occasion. Uh, <laughs> I was you had so tired. much fun that you remembered the game. <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm sure it'll come to you. But no, there's, there's tons of great games. And yeah, it's always the same sort of thing each year. Lots of variety and something for everyone. And I think the like total value of it is like over a hundred, uh, over a thousand pounds, which is obviously a very good value for money as well. So. Exactly. Mm. Back on to the stats. Yes. Sorry, I did like interrupt you in 2013. Well, no, you didn't because I asked about <laughs> the the the, char the games yeah. um, to five because I'm not allowed to say bundle. <laughs> Collection. 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 That's the one. Yeah. You can't think of the one. So in uh, 2014, mm -hmm. that's when it officially became Jingle Jam, the name Jingle Jam. Right. Because beforehand it was just raising money. Well, it wasn't just raising money. So it essentially yes. it officially became Jingle Jam in 2014, and 702,000 pounds was raised mm -hmm. in 20. 2015, 691,000. And then 2016 was. <laughs> I, don't big know what year. I don't know what happened in 2016. <laughs> 2016 was just two million pounds raised for charity. It's just it's a little bit crazy. Little Do you think all the people crazy. who used to watch like as kids got jobs? And that's what happened in 2016. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Point. Yeah, exactly. You like, know what? A lot of the time, prime Minecraft in 2016. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say I think they were quite. Like, I was gonna say at their peak then, but you know what I mean. They were very very popular at that point, and I think um, yeah. I don't know what the games were at that time, but that can affect it a lot. Um, oh, true. Yeah. If, there's, like, if a you new game jump ahead to 2017, I have a feeling there was a very good game it might have been rust that year there was a year that rust was in it and that i think it is the one that got the most um, well 2017 was the first time it ever raised well i mean it broke broke the previous year's record yeah it raised 3.8 million it's currently the most they've ever raised yeah and they raised a million in the first day or a million dollars i don't know about pounds but they raised a million yeah. dollars in the first day these are all That's just crazy. crazy numbers <laughs> no. it's doing a million again <laughs> and again. like multiple millions again and again and again yeah so wonderful. I know. And, I think, so this. Oh yeah, go on, no, I'm like, I don't know why I was just about to start talking about this year, but I was just going to say that this year is like 
no different. It's, we'll get, it's kind we'll of crazy. Yeah, we'll get there. Carry on going up the list. Yeah, <laughs> right, I, just, I, yeah I mean, I might as well keep I'm going. I'm excited. All right, but, but see, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build excitement. It's working. Yes. So. Yep. <laughs> uh, so in 2018, uh, 2.5 million, 2019, 2.1 million. And in 2020, that's where they made the switch from bundle to Tiltify. Oh. And it switched from Charity Games Bundle, which I was right about when I said it in 2013, <laughs> to Charity Games Collection with, yep. with, with Tiltify. And this was the, this was also the year that all years totaled, uh, they say, it says here that all years 20? reached $20. Yeah, a million, tw- not $20. 20 million, yeah. 20 million, yeah, which is just, wow. damn. <laughs> a little yep. bit crazy. Uh, 2021, they raised, you raised three. 3.3 million which is just well, crazy i know <laughs> and in 2022 3.4 million yep and uh, that was also uh, the same year that jingle jam became an official charity organization yes Aww. it was yes yeah, so it became a registered charity um which is really cool so i think i don't really know what that does so but all, i know i think because it's always just been sort of an event it, it kind of maybe wasn't needed but i think it's definitely made like the admin side of it a lot easier and um yeah, yeah really cool that, that that's actually an official thing now I mean, it's also very helpful that you sent a donation tracker because I didn't actually have the amount for every single year. <laughs> I'm kind of glad you sent. And yes. then this year, which isn't on the donation tracker, which you've been waiting for. Is that the top? <laughs> oh, it's at the top, right? Okay. <laughs> Over 2.7 million. So, I mean, obviously, this year it's a lot different. It's, it's, mm. it's not it's, the fact that it's still a lot of money, but like cost of living yeah. crisis has like, <laughs> really affected life. But then, just yeah. before we carry on to all this year, I just want to get the stats out of the way. Uh, mm-hmm. So, collections distribu- distributed 59,000 donations 64,000 average donation 41 pounds and money raised since 2011 24.6 million so i was gonna say so i've heard i've seen like multiple articles today saying that it's like 25 million raised so i don't know where that numbers come from there must be an extra 400,000 floating i'm just looking somewhere. at a donation tracker here yeah. no i know that's what i thought as well I, uh, okay. I, there must be maybe it's like after fees or something but yeah I, th- I think it is actually now like 25 million which is crazy that that like from 2011 20 25 million pounds raised for charity is an insane wow. number. You can't yeah. even like comprehend it, can you? So, no. <laughs> and it goes to, to, as you say, it goes to so many good calls. Not yeah. in, obviously, you can uh, choose which one, but all, all the causes obviously do incredible yeah. things in, throughout the UK, throughout the world. Yeah. Um, so there's, I know there's, um, if you've seen the Wallace and the Wallace, Wallace and Gromit's Grand Appeal. Um, yes. They're one who has come back a few times and they're sort of like gathering funds to build an actual like hospital building building which is like amazing that would be wow. really good to see i think they've bought the land it's like in planning phase now so they've got a really cool little video of it like what it's going to be and stuff like that so i think they're just you know so what did they get this year Two hundred nineteen thousand. so it'd be a massive help towards that so hopefully that they're, they're back again i think they've probably <laughs> like got that so we're in the bag to come back next year and um yeah hopefully get some more funds towards uh, the hospital but it's really cool that they have these sort of ongoing relationships with a lot of them and then they get like lots of new people in every year so it's nice to have a bit of variety each time as well. Mm. Mm-hmm. So as far as I'm aware, I think I can't remember what year it was. You'll have to you have to tell me which year it was. But uh, York, uh, York so or even Jingle Jam, I'd say, gave the ability for like streamers to sell their own fundraisers. I believe. Yeah. I think that's like what AJ is kind of was touching on earlier with stuff. How does yeah. how does that all work and why exactly? Can you can, can you confirm which year it was? Because I can't actually. So I think it was 2021, but it was sort of a bit of a soft launch in that they sort of just said, "Oh, by the way, you can you can do this if you want." And then that's I think that's why then the the following year they sort of brought us in to then sort of push it more and they definitely like made more of an effort sort of shout about it then so i think it was 2021 officially okay so how does how does that all work essentially People send so do, do they can they do their own charities or is there a fundraiser for any of the charities so yeah so they can either choose to uh fundraise or jingle jam like what the yogs has do um which is equally split between all 12 or you can choose one charity which i i do think personally like for your own stream i think that does seem to work better just from a like you know you can pick something that's a little bit more personal or like can talk about it in a bit more detail maybe but I know some people just like get involved and they just pick Jingle Jam because they can't choose which is fair enough because they're all amazing charities yeah. but yeah I think um, there's some people who come back every year and, and fundraise for the same charity which is really cool so they've got a bit of a like relationship with obviously the like social media people and, and, and whatnot from that charity which is nice um, 
so yeah i guess i mean the reasoning behind it i would i don't know for certain but i would guess it's because obviously it's grown every year as you've sort of seen from the statistics and stuff it's it's kind of never really wavered um and i guess they just thought why why are just the yogs cast doing this like there's so many amazing creators out there and if you've watched any of it this year they had a lot of like extra what, what, what we call in the biz friends of yogs which is just like people who were involved in the yogs cast stuff in general yeah. which i think was really nice because it kind of made it feel a little bit broader because although it is obviously still associated with the yogs cast because obviously they started it it kind of meant you know um some of the people who actually were involved in like the streams like i was saying rt game then could go you know back home and then do their own fundraiser and it's quite i mean i'm sure there's a crossover between communities but i'm sure there's people who don't watch the jingle jam but then you know watch rt game and it kind of taps into a whole different group of people who uh obviously probably still love games and and all that kind of stuff as well so it kind of works for them and yeah i guess that's kind of the benefit of it is it reaches a lot further and it becomes even bigger i think so what uh, so what was what was the charity day you mentioned you mentioned how you did like a fundraiser this year what was the charity that you did <laughs> so i didn't do it i like set well, up no, a fundraiser, fundraiser <laughs> I mean. so yes i set one money. up you know, yeah we, technically we, as we mentioned so technically was, i did yeah was yours, <laughs> so yours I, also raw was it yours a certain one no i did copper feel which is they're like a young people breast cancer charity so i think theirs is more about like early detection rather than sort of curing it if that makes sense i think okay. it's just more to like bring awareness to it and they're quite cool they're like i don't know they just have a good terminology um with it and they're not kind of afraid to say stuff which i think is quite common with things like that people don't want to say <laughs> certain words and stuff they've got quite a nice attitude to it they're quite like down with the kids <laughs> <laughs> as as people say which i think is really nice to have that uh for something like that and yeah. um yeah i thought they were a cool one to support and then last year so, yeah. so i did dogs for autism last year just because oh. i love dogs and i have a dog and i just oh. thought why not um but yeah they they were quite a fun one because they'd not really they've not never really needed to use like social media that much because i think I well i don't really know why but i guess it's just how their sort of business work but they were quite new to discord and they actually did a few twitch streams which were like extremely chaotic but really fun because there was a puppy who was actually named jj after jingle jam which was really cute and he was like the star of the year last year <laughs> i was just like obsessed with him so um it was a little i think it was like a labrador puppy or golden retriever um so yeah he he is now off you know being a, a support dog for, um an autistic child i think and yeah it was really cool to kind of see them so i did a baking stream where i made little dog looking cupcakes which were Aww. slightly scary but it was fun <laughs> it was fun to do but yeah uh, no, i was just i was i like the cute dog <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was very cute there's a very sweet clip of i think they brought him into the office and obviously everyone was like oh my god <laughs> there's a puppy <laughs> so like, did you go into the... the office then as well or? no no it was uh the charity brought in oh. no 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 i don't go in uh, no it was dogs for autism brought uh jj the puppy in i would definitely recommend watching that very cute <laughs> everyone just like loses their mind it must be like really nice because you have direct contact with a majority of the charities if not all so it must be nice being yes. able to kind of not really be the middleman per se but just being able to talk to because i like i just love the idea of charity and like, yeah you know that's that's one of the, the big things is why i wanted uh ajx and i wanted to make jingle jam christmas special because there's like mm. loads of things that we could have done and you know we could have just been us too but i was like yeah and what if we what if i said i said to aj it's like there's a possibility i can we can do a jingle jam podcast with down mm. it's like yeah of course and, you know, <laughs> it, it's, it's nice to kind of I think nice my exact talk words were hell yeah Sorry? <laughs> i think my exact words were hell yeah yeah exactly <laughs> your reaction your reaction yeah. don't think it's hell yeah <laughs> so, no i mean of course all the people i spoke to have been the loveliest people ever i think you have to be if you work for a charity don't you but they've all been so so nice and you know they've always said like thank you to, to me and, and the other community leader Wilco and it, I'm always like me I, I haven't done anything I'm just here but I think it does help to have someone who they can ask questions to about like discord and streaming because a lot of them don't know too much about it and mm. as I say there's been people who've come back year after year and you can see how much more, like more confident they are with stuff like that and um yeah it's really cool to see that but yeah I, I've been loving kind of chatting to them as well it's been really nice just a cool experience all around yeah definitely have... and I get to bug sorry no, 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 no. <laughs> and you get to what <laughs> i get to bug tiltify with loads of questions which i love being able to do <laughs> just because like there's always that frustration of like you know submitting tickets and stuff 
and it's just great that we have like people oh, true yeah yeah we actually have like the like people from tiltify that we can get answers from which is amazing to be able to do that i think it makes like if there's any issues it makes it a lot quicker which is really cool to be able to help with that how we get the bug you about jingle jam yes <laughs> any questions about jingle jam or about roof in general we just get to, <laughs> to poke you whenever <laughs> yeah of course with that then is there mm -hmm. anything that you wanted to talk about that we haven't brought up do you thought we was gonna bring up have we feel like we've done a pretty good job of covering everything uh let me have a look at my notes um i think so yeah, yeah we've with notes recently <laughs> <laughs> so you're the second week in a row where the guest is that like, no, notes. that's podcast. because i'm nervous um nah, don't be we're not that scary <laughs> I know, like i said i know i know ajax has this like amazing presence about him but, you know, it doesn't mean we have to be scared uh, <laughs> no no nervous, i think <laughs> i think you have um pretty much mentioned everything that i was expecting you to ask me about i guess love you okay with that then Yes. Twitter question time, and I say question yep. specifically because there was, I mean, I guess there's technically two here, so we'll, we'll ask True. them. They're, they're both from the same person, they're from Colston. Yes, he's a lovely uh, fundraiser who did fundraise last year as well, and I saw them around this year, which is great. I think they fundraised for, I want to say Just Dig It, I think, which is oh, the yeah. one that did <laughs> digging stuff. Uh, <laughs> let me try and remember what the they name. did. They regreen African landscapes, which is actually really cool if you We've like, now see raised over £1,500 for the one charity hello yes. world oh okay they did hello world sorry they're quite kind of similar vibes they're both um Digging? international oh, okay. uh no they were like the two international ones so yeah sorry oh. hello world is they're really cool they uh, provide like internet basically for people in like less connected countries basically which is obviously it's not just to watch silly youtube videos it's also to learn and like get you know farming techniques and stuff like that so it's really really yeah. cool, mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. I like that. yeah it's really so, cool so first part of that question yeah is how much truth would a Sleuth roof deduce if a sleuth roof could deduce. <laughs> I don't no, get I've, it. You're gonna I've have heard to a lot of text. plays on my name in my time, but that one I've never heard. So I applaud that in itself, I guess. No comment, I think, is my answer to that one. Sleuth roof is the <laughs> I don't I really know. Truth rhymes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And struth, Australian. Yeah, true. true. <laughs> I've yeah. heard that one a lot. <laughs> Sitting in a booth. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess. Anyway, uh, I don't think there is an answer tooth. to that question. I think it's, a, it's an a open question. <laughs> well, I just compliment, I've complimented just, my own joke. Just rhyming now. Rhyme. I have just complimented my own rhyme. Okay. Yep. Um. <laughs> hmm, don't you have one? Look, I've been through this my entire childhood. I it's been Who? bad bad memories. Uh... Okay, never mind. The next question. <laughs> Tell me, you like you could rhyme worse. roof with roof as well if you really wanted to. No, oh you God. have to say it right. Oh, no. roof as in R O O F. Yeah, but if you say that, they don't rhyme roof, really. Sitting on a roof. The half rhyme. Second question. Right, no. Yeah, second no, question. Thank you. <laughs> um, what's been some of the most surprisingly great things? to come out of jingle jam for you personally uh do you have a wow do you have like a wow i'm involved in this moment even if it's not i don't even know how to pronounce that grandiose oh yeah there we go no, i didn't you really know what that word question. meant when i read it <laughs> i think it just means big right yeah it's, it just means like, it's just a fancy way yeah, of saying yeah, like, like a big feeling it's, yeah well, i know grand i don't know how to grandiose so to answer the question yeah there's obviously like you know raising millions of pounds is amazing that, but i think kind of what kelson meant there is like is there anything that was just a moment where I sat there like wow I can't believe this is actually something that I've been part of and I think there was like a few different moments I guess with like different reasons so I mean what we spoke about a minute ago um with like talking to the charities I do genuinely love that part of it I think it's, it's obviously a part that not really people be apart from the people directly involved in it so it's quite a nice sort of thing that I have um to build that relationship with those uh, lovely charities but then I think for me oh there was a few moments I guess there was um there was a few so basically this year we were sort of trying a little bit more to reach out to like unis and stuff like uni students okay. uni societies things like that so there was one <laughs> i only really managed to sort of contact a couple but there was one that actually sort of were up for it and had sort of never heard of jingle jam before uh which is i know shocking because to me it feels like everyone knows about it but yeah they they were obviously um hadn't heard of it and they were the esports like and gaming society of i'm gonna try and remember 
remember all the uni names now. I think they were like King's College. Oh gosh, um, all the sort of like ones in that area. Yeah. <laughs> They're sort of like King's College. And what the other ones? You know any of the ones in that? <laughs> that I can't area? help you. I'm so sorry. I thought you were from of... London. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I like know unis. And plus, I wouldn't want to name the ones that I know just in case like I accidentally yeah. dox myself in the process <laughs> of only knowing these ones. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. No, I think they were. Um, I can remember all the like acronyms or whatever, but I can't remember the full names. But they were basically they have like it's a, like unis in, in London. I yeah, so they all have like there's like I think there's three or four of them that are all in like quite close uh, like vicinity to each other. So they do a lot of events themselves, uh, like between them all, which is quite cool that they do that. So they actually did. Um, they they called themselves like Ooh because that's like the acronym for each uni. I can't remember what it was, but they did charity stream and they were so like they had so much prepared. They were like had loads of like um forfeits and stuff for people to do there was someone had their head shaved there was okay. like all sorts and they also did like rocket league tournaments and stuff they did a 12 hour stream and that was sort of like i was just watching it and i was like this is crazy and i think they raised like a thousand pounds and i was like <laughs> i kind of felt like okay i actually had an impact here because this is like because i've had this sort of you know relationship with them and, and sort of talked to them about it and supported them with it and i was just amazed at how much they raised and the amount of effort they put in as well was pretty amazing so i I really enjoyed that and they were making me laugh as well they were just having having a, a, a fun old time as well that was that was a highlight I think what I mentioned earlier as well like the fundraiser number going up so high was making me very very happy and just seeing everyone being so nice to each other like <laughs> the internet can be a bit of a, a mean and scary place but that the discord server is genuinely like so positive and everyone is so like caught of each other and there was times where you know I wouldn't look at discord for a while and I'd come back and people were sort of cheering each other on and stuff like that and I think that that is absolutely amazing that people were doing that so that was definitely like a standout moment for me seeing people being able to support each other and then <laughs> one that was sort of like a silly silly highlight I guess if you um if you know Sarah who is like the social media kind of person for the Oxcast, she okay. did a stream she did a stream for just a get which is probably why I got mixed up with that and it was to the first stream she's ever done properly by herself and it was so like scuffed and like hilarious like the camera was terrible quality <laughs> she had like a headset mic on but she raised I can't even remember what she raised now but it was like thousands of pounds and it was just so fun to watch and like a reaction to everyone donating she was like in shock every time and that was super fun and that is obviously only possible because you know they they now sort of allow for other people to fundraise for it it's not the sort of thing you can have on on a yoscast stream it's so big now um so it's nice to have that sort of like scuff experience <laughs> that still raised all that money so yeah that was super fun and it went on till like two o'clock in the morning it was just crazy um but yeah super fun there were so many highlights though it's hard to hard to pick just a few there's gonna be so many more right I yes can imagine of course gonna be around course. for a good while and i'm assuming you're gonna so. stick with them for do you i hope that, so you know what i guess another question now that we've mentioned mm -hmm. this talking about is like do, so what like what do you do now until the next jingle jam <laughs> no but i mean like i mean like until, <laughs> sorry like i mean like until the next jingle jam yeah do you have is there anything that you need to do is there any effects like do, 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 do you get what i mean do you mean like, like do i have anything between now and next but, december between like... now and next december does anything ha do you do anything with jingle jam so no, I... it's just a christmas thing right like it's during christmas yeah, but so... is there anything you need to i'm assuming in september once it starts getting set back up again yeah you set back in but so i guess now until september do you do anything or is it kind of just like not think, chill per se yeah it would mostly be uh like maybe sharing a few update posts on the discord would probably be the only thing but i think they released the it might be like february or march is when they open for applications for other charities so i i think people don't realize that i'm pretty sure from then on like the the jingle jam team are like working on it like it, it's not something that it just happens sort of overnight it's definitely been worked on throughout the year but definitely for me it's sort of like end of august september time is when we start thinking about it uh, again so yeah i just come back and yeah chill uh, obviously we have like you know meetings and stuff and, and chat about stuff and i have like um some notes from this year about things that i want to try and do next year and stuff like that so i've got some ideas and um yeah we'll sort of chat through that but yeah pretty much until september that's it it will have me i mean well, oh, they'll have you i'll have like, me this... i hope so <laughs> oh do they just like re oh, I thought it was, I no thought no it no it, 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 it is it is i'm joking i just mean it's like yeah it's obviously um i enjoy doing it so i i hope that they still need me <laughs> oh god yeah i'm sure, I'm they sure they that they you cook this year you cook you know <laughs> you, you all did a great job but everyone behind yeah, jingle yeah. jam and even just like not even even just like even the people who fundraised and everyone yeah even people who donated every absolutely everybody who contributed but i know i know but i didn't obviously donate sadly this year just mainly okay. because it's just christmas and yeah yeah and all i can just but you know i've done 
uh, we've done our part ajx i know you donated but still we've done our part i would say and i'm sure when this podcast comes out can people still donate to jingle jam or no no so it is only until the 14th but um uh, obviously they sort of follow on socials and whatnot i'm yeah, sure they'll get lots well. of warning for next year yeah i next think um, it's always next year <laughs> and um what i was gonna say you've just reminded me actually is the fundraisers themselves i do have a total number if you're interested about yes, what please. this is non non yogs cast paul basically but i suppose it does technically include people that are members but not not their sort of uh, individual people fundraiser. who fundraise themselves yeah uh let me find it i should have got this i do have the numbers let me do find you have them. it <laughs> no you said i do have the numbers this who's I, oh sorry i know i did <laughs> have let it me just find them quickly you know what it is it's because discord has changed recently upsettingly uh, and i don't know where anything is PC, <laughs> i've moved no i've like got a favorites bit here it is right. still different on pc bro is it i, I, know, I, I guess i just haven't updated it i uh i favorited the channels that i go to the most but then i actually lost where that was right i've got it so fundraisers so we had 630 actually sorry not 650 um 630 people raised 440 <laughs> i can't speak 448 thousand pounds um, oh just just them so that's like obviously almost half a million pounds from fundraisers is incredible so yeah i hope it's even more next year i'm super excited for next year already really yeah, oh, yeah. The, the difference that it makes is a lot like this is what i mean when people are like oh i've only raised this much it's like yeah but it's it's all <laughs> it still adds up definitely and as i say awareness people might not be able to donate this year but then come back next year and yeah it, it's all relative isn't it oh i see it as well as like you know if you walk into a shop and you're one pound short <laughs> you know like that one pound would make a difference yeah like yes anything, one pound what? Has, <laughs> it makes a difference i'm not sure what this what holiday is, this? is but yes it does <laughs> if it you does, walk into the shop and you want to buy a chocolate bar but you only have one pound having another one pound would make a huge difference yeah or you could just sweet bar. talk the cashier and let them give it you for one pound less ignoring what you just <laughs> said donating to charity uh, <laughs> even in quotation marks even if it's only one pound, oh okay that one oh pound yeah still of course, makes a difference yeah. see yeah, no, I got, I got and if you want to sweet talk the charity for some <laughs> for some bizarre reason <laughs> Oh, just... <laughs> Look, how I many wrong? times have you like got on the bus and not had enough money and they've just let you go on anyway i thought that's what you were but i didn't really understand what you were getting at there you know what no. in my head i cooked and when i spoke out loud yeah. i cooked and the viewers no confirm, every every penny counts for there sure. we go. See, even if it's it. even if it's just like five pounds thing. it's five pounds that makes a huge difference definitely exactly. i think um, that five pounds could could buy you like an energy or, or nowadays it could buy you a freddo chocolate bar so, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> With that, then, Ruth, I mm -hmm. guess uh, I guess this brings the end of midweek MC. I'm so sad. not to not to put you on the spot here. Yeah. But okay. I and I I I didn't really check this. Is that if you're open to it, and obviously mm -hmm. if if Jingle Jam have you back, <laughs> I think it, I mean the podcast is there's a hundred like there's like a, a big eighty five. I can't obviously say hundred percent for anything. There's a massive chance the podcast is still going to be around. With I the way so. it's going, I'm mm -hmm. I'm hoping it's going to be like really really big as well in the sense of can bring more traction so mm -hmm. if you're happy to we can we can hit kind of like build hype a year a year in advance on, yeah. the, on the podcast yeah go for now, it. If, if you're open to it <laughs> next year we will yeah, have definitely. you on let me let me go through the calendar so obviously if it's still, it if, if we're still recording on wednesdays which you most know, likely <laughs> will be single jam starts on the first right what day is that next year that's a sunday is it? Ooh, so we could record on the 27th of november <laughs> and and that nice. podcast will come out on the 4th of december for jingle jam that'd be amazing all right I'll yeah. schedule. I'll say we can Get schedule in. that in. I'll, uh, I'll actually put that in my diary. My, oh my god, we just schedule a year in advance. I know, crazy. <laughs> less than a year, what? technically. I mean, it's about, about like three hundred and fifty days or something like. I mean, it's less than that now, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So but you know, I mean, just kind of build hype in a sense of we'll bring you on when Jungle yeah, Jam's happening, and hopefully at that time the podcast will be getting a lot more like traction and can bring more of a uh, more of a yeah, more of a get everyone um, to go donate and get the games the one, collection yeah. and, and get so. involved and maybe some people can fundraise themselves next year or maybe you can oh, maybe yeah. i'll put you on the spot <laughs> I mean, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, AJ, yeah, we'll just see. don't don't plan anything for the twenty seventh of November, AJ. Okay? <laughs> you that organised that you plan stuff for that early? I love that. I have oh, I have me. inside MC guests scheduled in until like that. February. That, so that's that's great. But no, I would love to come back next year. Hopefully, um, we can we can do that and yeah, get get excited about it and we can reminisce. Um, exactly. Yeah. Have a year gone this. by. Exactly. Look back on the past. You know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> That's like an in- partial inside joke. Yes. And also there'll yeah. be um there'll be by then, I think well, they'll obviously have announced all the charities, but they also tend to leak a few games by then. So we might be able to mm. discuss that and I will yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we'll be recording do. we'll be recording. So that pod you can technically kind of leak everything in a sense because the podcast will be coming out once Shingle Jam. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well yeah, well obviously, obviously you don't know now. We're not gonna leak it now, are no, we? But I don't know. No, no, no. I don't even know then. <laughs> I, I only know oh. like what everyone else knows apart from like one or two things like game wise. So it, it wouldn't be anything this is what I mean. But normally I think the week before they sort of leak Got some it, of the games okay. uh, to build the, the hype. So there'll definitely be a few and yeah, we can um we can do that. But we'll I think cross that yeah. in a year. So yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm excited. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Well, Ruth, you've been absolutely amazing. Thank oh, you so much for coming thank on the you. podcast. Oh. It's been fun. Thank you for having me. It, no it's been really fun. I feel like we could <laughs> talk for another hour. Probably not about Jingle Jam, <laughs> just about anything, but it's been super fun. Well, if uh, anyone wants yeah, to find you. you or Jingle Jam, I always like to give the outro for you to kind of promote anything. Yes. To Jingle Jam, yourself. I know like this is a Jingle Jam podcast, but you came on and you talked. So yes. Flaws so... on Twitter or X, so be it. <laughs> uh, you know, YouTube, if you if you do it. Twitch, same with Jingle Jam, Flaws yeah. yours. So uh, I suppose Jingle Jam, uh, follow uh, on Twitter uh, and I think Instagram as well is probably the best place. We do also have a server, which I promise we don't we don't ping you all the time. It will only be sort of in December. So if you want to join that, just so you're sort of in there. I think the link to that is literally like jinglejam.co.uk slash discord. Uh, but then, yeah, other than that, I think me, I basically only dream. So that's just, uh, it's actually Ruth Berry as one word on, uh, on Twitch. But other than that, I don't really do anything. So <laughs> that's where you'll find me. But yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. And Ruth Barry underscore on. Yes, but I don't really tweet. I'm a bit of a passive to user, to be honest. I just like being nosy and um, what everyone's up to. <laughs> I and they might be the, it. Yeah, I and they might be the odd photo of my dog, but yeah, I don't have anything worth saying. I, I mean, don't your think. dog was on a billboard. <laughs> she it? was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was super fun. Yeah. So yeah, go have a look at that. And um, <laughs> Go look yeah. at a billboard dog. Mm-hmm. She's famous. <laughs> for, it was like, that billboard was literally there for like a week. <laughs> it was like not a long time, but it's a week, right? A week, a week is more than yeah. a day. True, yeah. If you went into a shop and you were okay right here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Hey Jax, uh, thank you for yeah. being an amazing co-host. <laughs> You've been uh, great. Merry Christmas. Happy yes, Merry Christmas, yeah, everyone. Happy, happy, happy New Year, everyone. Christmas. I don't think the podcast is going to be another. It's not going to be another podcast. But yeah, this is the final midweek MC oh. of the year. There we Yay. go. So I hope everyone had a good Christmas or holidays, whatever you celebrate. Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, happy New Year. 2024 is going to be an amazing Oof. year for the podcast and everything in general. And yeah, yeah. I mean, do you, do you guys want to say Happy New? Year? I know you kind of said it, and I cut you off, Ajax. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I kind of just took over. I. <laughs> I'm excited let, let about 2024. I am very excited for 2020. I don't think you understand how much Aww. a career is going to be on the podcast. I'm, I can't wait. A career. <laughs> Love that. I'll let you say it now, AJ. Sorry. My bad. Happy, <laughs> happy New Year, everyone. I can't <laughs> wait for another year of dealing with this. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to hear what you guys get up to and, and good luck with it. And yeah, I hope, hope to see you around. And um, yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> this has been Midweek MC, the final Midweek MC of 2020. Three. three. <laughs> I forgot for a second there. I because in my head I'm thinking on the inside MC that I recorded two days ago. I didn't actually say Merry Christmas or Happy New Year, and that comes out on the 29th. Anyways, <laughs> Merry Week MC of the Year. Happy New Year, everyone. Be, be safe. Don't eat too much bread. Uh, yeah. Peace. Bye. Bye.